To increase extension, use the V-spread technique by placing the distal phalanx of your index and middle fingers on the transverse processes of the superior vertebral segment to be manipulated. To increase flexion, the fingers are placed in the inferior vertebral segment. Next, place the hypothenar eminence of your other hand on top of the two-finger contact. Have the patient breathe in and out and apply an anterior force from the top hand through the fingers on the contact points on the transverse processes. Use graded oscillations or a high-velocity thrust. To increase rotation, the finger placement follows the rule of the lower finger, which is that rotation of a segment occurs in the direction of the finger on the inferior transverse process. Place one finger on the superior transverse process and the second finger on the contralateral inferior transverse process to be mobilized. The manipulation force comes from the hypothenar eminence of the other hand placed on top of the contact. Left rotation is being demonstrated. Use graded oscillations or a high-velocity thrust. A crossed arm technique can be used for rotation by placing the pisiform or hypothenar eminence of one hand on a left and one on a right transverse process of the three-joint complex. Left rotation is demonstrated.